In this video, we will see how to calculate index numbers. Now basically there are three index numbers. The first one being last pair's index number. And it is given by the formula L is equal to summation P1 Q0 divided by summation P0 Q0 into 100. The next one is Pasche's index number. which is given by the formula P is equal to summation P1 Q1 divided by summation P0 Q1 into 100. For both these formulas, P1 is price in the current year P0 is price in the base year Q1 is quantity in the current year and Q0 is quantity in the base year. And there is one more index number which is Fisher's index number. That is given by the formula F is equal to square root of L into P, where L and P are last pair's index number and Pasche's index number respectively. Now, what is base year and current year? When you are comparing two years, let's say the first year is 2000 and the next year is 2001. Then when we want to calculate index number, 2000, the earlier year is considered as the base year. Whereas 2001 is known as the current year. So basically we are calculating index numbers, taking into consideration two years, one is the base year and one is the current year. Let us take an example to see how the formula works. Let's say the information given for two years is as follows. That is for 2003 and 2004. The prices in 2003 for the three commodities A, B and C are 4, 5 and 6, whereas in 2004 it is 5, 8 and 6. The quantity in 2003 would be 6, 4, 2 and for 2004 4, 2 and 1. So from this information, we have to calculate the three index numbers. Now if we look at the formula, the third formula 
that is Fisher's index number is dependent on the first two that is last pairs and past chase index number. So first we will calculate last pairs and past chase index number and if you see you need P1 Q0 and P0 Q0 and in the second formula you need P1 Q1 and P0 Q1. Now in our question as discussed 2003 would be known as the base year whereas 2004 would be known as the current year. So that means price of base year is denoted by P0 whereas price of current year would be denoted by P1. Similarly, quantity of base year would be denoted by Q0 and quantity of current year would be denoted by Q1. For solving this question, we will first write down in the columnar form the prices and the quantities. So starting with P0, Q0, P1 and Q1 and that is 4, 5, 6, 6, 4, 2, 5, 8, 6 and 4, 2, 1. Now looking at both the formulas, we need P1 Q0, we need P0 Q0, then P1 Q1 and finally P0 Q1. Now for P0, P1 Q0, we need to multiply the P1 column with the Q0 column. So multiplying that, it will be 6 into 5, that is 30, 4 into 8, that is 32, and 2 into 6, that is 12. And we will need the total. Total being 74. The next, we need P0 and Q0. So multiplying the first and second column. That is 4 into 6, 24. 5 into 4, that is 20. And 6 into 2, that is 12. And again taking the total, that is 56. The next we need is P1, Q1. So multiplying the third and fourth column, P1 and Q1, we will get 5 into 4, 20. 8 into 2 that is 16 and 6 into 1 that is 6. And the total is 42. And finally, P0 Q1 that is the first and fourth column P0 Q1 that is 4 into 4 16. 5 into 2 that is 10 and 6 into 1 that is 6. Taking the total that is 32. Now we can calculate all three index numbers. So starting with the first last pairs index number given by L is equal to summation P1 Q0 divided by summation P0 Q0 into 100. Taking the information from the above table, P1 Q0, the total is 74, divided by P0 Q0 is 56 into 100. 
calculating this 74 divided by 56 into 100 and the index number is 132.14. The next, calculating Paschi's index number, P is equal to summation P1 Q1 divided by summation P0 Q1 into 100. That is equal to P1 Q1 is 42 divided by P0 Q1 is 32 into 100. Dividing 42 by 32 into 100, the answer is 131.25. And finally, Fisher's index number F is equal to under root L into P, which is equal to square root of the values of L and P we have already calculated that is 132.14 into 131.25 that is equal to square root of multiplying the two numbers it is square root of 17343.25 Three seven five, and finally taking the square root of that, the answer is one thirty one point six nine. This is how you calculate index numbers according to Las Pears, Pasche, and Fisher.